Hey guys, what's going? I'm Dr. Nestor, and this right here next to us is doc Dr. Eduardo de Aguiar, visiting us from who knows where because he's been all <laughs> over the world. He's lived all over the world, and he's practiced dentistry all over the world. So, welcome, man. Welcome Thank to, you. Welcome to Molar City, to Great Central going, Studio. Good. It's going really good, man. Really, really good. Okay. It's not every day that you get to have this guy in your office. Cool. I like it. It's awesome, man. Yeah. yeah thanks for having me. Absolutely, uh, and thanks for the for the surgery this morning. It You're was exciting, you know. It was it was something. Every, every time that I smell the, the the blood and things like that, <laughs> yes. you know, I don't I don't feel like a vampire, no. No, you don't. But you uh, you I like it. I like it a lot. It's you beautiful, know? man. We, I've we, been I've been doing things like that probably since 18 years ago. Yeah, that's <laughs> quite old. a while. And you look and he looks super young, guys. Like he's Good. older than me. But <laughs> yeah, it's so good having so you. So let's here, see, man. let's see what's going on with this at the uh, post podcast. Podcast. What? This is a podcast, guys. This is a video blog. But uh, we do have a couple questions for Doctor De Aguiar, and I guess the first question is, what do you think of dental tourism? Nice question. You know, I've been facing dental tourism since I have, you know, the experience in in Middle East. The Middle East, okay. Yeah, uh, I, I have the fortune just to, you know, work with so many guys right there. Yeah. And I remember my, my first contact with dental tourism was in Middle East uh, when we were uh, in a place that it's a street that the name has a Jumera. And there's a big houses uh, uh, into that, that, uh, that street only focusing on, on, on dental treatments and offering services like that. So it, it was a nice experience. And one of the things that I just, you know, bring for the experience was we have to change our mind. Oh, I have to change my mind in that time for doing my practice in the normal way with a certain time of, of you know, of the procedures and reduce that time and doing so efficient yeah. was uh, basically the two factors that, ha that you know that I have to face and learn so fast right there um, I was uh, I saw um, and that time um, it was 2015 2014 um, uh, Dr. Costa uh, he's a great guy who found uh, one of the offices right there and he was focused only on full arches. Mm. And, and and for me, it was shocking because when I went to dental school, even for my, my postgraduate program and all the stuff, um, uh, my, my, my teacher used to, you know, show me that this kind of procedure have to take a long time, like a year, right. you know, just to achieve yeah. all the procedure to get it done and, and and when i when i when i was in right there with dr cost and same day clinic look at the name same day same day so clinic. we provide you a dentary on wow. the same day yeah but it was shocking it was the, one of the fierce you know uh, uh uh things that i saw in that way and and it was shocking just to understand the a new philosophy and you said something important man you said faster but still efficient efficient of course it doesn't 100%. mean badly 100 percent. yeah yeah 100 percent. i love that and that's what we did today guys he came over here and we actually delivered some teeth in a day you yeah. can say that the patient walked out of here now it's, no now, now it's normal it's the new normal for us now it's normal okay but uh, on the time it wasn't normal no it was like it was shocking for me just to understand and change my mind and change uh, uh my you know, principal. Yeah. And I remember one of my mentors in, in, in Argentina more years ago. Yeah. <laughs> 2005, <laughs> like that. That's like and, 15 and years ago. He, he told me something pretty basic. You have to learn. Okay. Try to, you know, unlearn, uh, unlearn and relearn again. <laughs> so it's, it's, it's that, that, yeah. that the way just to, you, you know, understand uh, implant procedures, do you, treatment and everything. Now, let me ask you something. Do you feel like that's just dentistry through history? Like, because uh, it's, it's a I, I've been living, you know, I, I'm it's getting old, dude. I have gray hair. Well, you don't look old, man. <laughs> so but it's an evolving I, science. Like, yes, but there are certain, you know, uh, um, behaviors inside 
this time yeah. that can that you can keep and there's another that you have just to change. I remember my my mentor to to he he told me um you have a problem. Hmm. Yes, yeah, so what problem? Huh. So now you have a hundred percent of knowledge. Yeah. In five years you only going to use the fifty percent. Wow. So the problem is you don't know what fifty percent you're gonna use. Yeah. Okay. Later of that fifty percent you're gonna use twenty five percent. Wow. So And this is where the unlearning then, then you have to learn, unlearn and relearn. Wow. And that, that that's one of the things that that I just keep in mind all the time. Maybe I just you know that's why I keep young. No, time. but no, but seriously, <laughs> do you, I would say, and 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 because I learn a lot from you. Like a lot of people watching the, this video, if you're if you're a dentist, we've all probably learned something from him. You know, when the picture really matters. Come on, everybody mm. knows about that. We can but talk later. What I'm saying, what I'm saying, <laughs> what I'm wanted to say is, that's kind of the way that somebody becomes somebody in the dental world. You know, you're not just like good, and you're like I'm the best. No way, never. Never. I, and, never. And I see that a lot in you. You're like always, because dentistry is always bringing new things up, you know? All the time. And you're not, and because I've, I've known him for a while. He's never like, I'm the best in this. Although we know he's the best in a lot of things. No, 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 never, never. There, there's, there's, there's always someone better than you. Yeah, yeah. But uh, it's not that. That's not the way to understand dentistry. Yeah. The way to understand dentistry is just to keep going with the, you know, more efficient every time, and doing the best things that you can. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Uh, um, Agreed. But I remember that time. It was it was a nice time when I changed, you know, my 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 point of view on on, on dental implant procedures, treatments, and see how efficient it is. Now, from you know that before and after in my life yeah. of dentistry, the digital dentistry just to you know incorporate digital yeah. uh, protocols and things like that. They change a lot more. Oh, yeah. We're and, in a digital and make world it now. Easy. Yeah. <laughs> he, now he's been teaching me a lot about the digital world, guys. That's one of the big reasons he's also here uh, today. But uh, <laughs> digital has changed the industry a lot, and it's still be changing. And there, there's 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 so many. Things that we have just to accomplish at yeah. uh, this moment. But I remember when I started with this in 2004, I have the experience just to work with Nobel Biocare at yeah. that time. Yeah. With uh, the Nobel Guide, the same like Loma Linda Guides and things yeah. like that. Yeah. And and on that time, it, nothing works, mm. to be honest. Yeah. We want to, be, to make it work. But uh, at this time, after 15 years, we have the path just yeah, to yeah. make it work and probably that was the beginning I, I see, stages i see in two years three years more we can we have the full circle of the treatment wow and one of the things that we have to understand about the full arches treatment and or dental implant treatments is we are only a part of that yeah this is not the the goal the goal is just to trying to recover a patient from 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 the beginning or how the patient was or, yeah. or or things like that we are only a part of that we are so mechanical yeah, you know man. just to do it so but that's uh, very very true the guys. future is is probably totally different in in 20 years that's okay. crazy guys because although we think we're working up to date nowadays like right now this moment 20 years from now, we're probably going to be really old school. Everybody's going to be like, totally. I don't know how they even did that. You know, uh -huh. that's uh -huh. crazy. That's like, like mind that. blowing, guys. Like that, like that. That's how dentistry is. Everything it's evolves. That's definitely. It's an evolving science, guys. That's really, really important to know. I, I remember even the design of the, of, of, of the implants when I was in dental implant program. Yeah. And the procedures oh, yeah. are totally different. Yeah. Immediately in loading, for example. Yeah. I, I remember. When I experience things for immediate loading yeah. and sharing with my colleagues, let's write down immediate loading here and what that means. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, I was sharing with my colleagues, you know what it's all about. Yeah, and you have to change your mind. You have to understand biology or to understand surgery. Wow. Yeah. You know and understand uh, prost. And, 
and and they do not accept that this is possible. Yeah, you know. Yeah, and, and no, I hear you. It's like a no way, really. Now yeah, the ninety percent of my procedures are on immediate loading. Yeah, yeah. So it, it used to be like, wait a minute, you're gonna put a tooth onto the implant right then and there at the time of surgery. Sometimes, yes. Yeah. Most of the time, sometimes. Most of the time. <laughs> yeah, which, which different. would be, you would be a, uh, it would be heresy or it would be craziness to do that years ago. You know. Yeah. So. I, I remember my my teachers uh, uh, dental implant program. You must wait six six months. Yeah, six months just to load. Yeah, and I, yeah, man. Yeah, that, <laughs> that that would be the norm. I can. That would be the norm. Even even if you are here in Aguilas, you can wait six months. <laughs> you can tell to the patient, hey, get back in six months. Exactly. Now, yeah, no you guys know we're in Agudonis. Agudonis is land of dental tourism, which means patients want things done fast. Now, obviously, we respect biology by all means. But as science has evolved, it, it's given us new implant designs, a new treatment modalities that allow us to like do teeth faster. Or new more. materials, new procedures. Yes. So fast, so strong. Yeah. Even even for for all the things that involve you know uh, PMMA. Yeah. Uh, the way that you build up a, a dentor nowadays is totally different from five years ago. Even. And you were telling me about that, like the labs used to take in the past. A couple of days to make you a denture a couple of days like if to make a denture now not, not not only a couple of days just to make a denture yeah but also there's an impact uh, important factor uh with the technology that we have nowadays we reduced you know the 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 dental technicians into the lab yeah i create an environment in into wow. the office at this moment and i only have one guy yeah when Ten years ago, I used to have fourteen guys to do the same to thing. Doing the same, the same thing. That's insane. And the, protoc the protocols have, have, you know, have been changing a lot, and yep. the technology is is changing, and the materials and everything. That's big time, man. That so, is big time. Yes, it is. I wonder. I wonder if robots will replace us in the future. It's probably that, that <laughs> even, even human race. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm happy I'm not alive in that time. It's yeah, like Terminator. Terminator. <laughs> No, my opinion to you, I have so many questions. Okay, okay. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Let's do this. Okay. You're so good doing, you know. Thank you, man. Thank all, you. All, all the surgeries right there. Thanks, man. How do you learn that? How did I learn that? Where? Yeah. Well, I, actually, where? <laughs> right. Actually, man, Los Algodones is a place where we do a lot of full arch. Now, obviously, everybody has a beginning. Uh -huh. I, um, here in Algodones, there's a lot of clinics which I admire. And which were my teachers at some point. Okay. So the key word here is mentor. You know, I had a mentor. Uh, Doctor Ever was a good mentor to me. Yes. Uh, Doctor Rubio was a good mentor. Uh, people who I watched do surgery. I probably watched 100 surgeries before I did my first one. Now, obviously, I did my implant program, and uh, where here in Algodonas, actually. Cool. There's an implant program here in Algodonas, and. Uh, And I've done continuing continuing education for full arch. I've been to Harvard. I've been to Loma Linda. I've been to to Tots. I've been to the Engel Institute uh -huh. in North Carolina, and I visit a lot of friends all the time. I've been to Implant Pathway in in Arizona. Cool. I've been all over the place learning full arch. That's been like my, you know, like yeah. not anterior aesthetic implants, which I love to do, and I do good cases, but like full arch. I want to know everything about full arch. So. That being said, I watched 100 Arches, and then my brother, Dr. Diego, was like, dude, you need to do your own full arch now. I said, okay, let's do it. And I started, I had my complications, you know, but- Like everyone. Couple of hundred, now 100 Arches, guys, is a lot. It might sound like a small number, but in surgery, it's a lot. So that being said, a couple of hundred Arches later myself, I guess I can say I'm getting a little better, okay? Uh, so good. you're so good. Thank you, man. Yeah, Thank you. So like practice, that. a lot of practice, and and being humble. Like they're, they're, I'm learning all the time. Uh, if you have to recommend Algodones for continued education, yeah. Do you think it's um it's something some it's a it's a good place for someone who coming abroad, like like the Americans, for example, definitely like Canadian, definitely. All I get, that people. I get asked a lot of times, a lot often, 
if I have a course myself. And I think, I think you and me could come up with something, guys. I we, don't know. We, we, we have to. I think we have to. There's, there's, okay. there's potential. But it's a, it's a good place just to do it. No? It's a great place. Great place for that. The border, like you walk across, man. Mm -hmm. I, I have to take you to my house across the border, but you walk across. There's no need to take a taxi or anything like that. Like if there was dental students from, from the U.S. coming, all they have to do is, is walk one block to get to my office. You do the surgery, you learn, you go walk hey, one block go, back. Go back. That's Easy. It. I've been living in Mexico like five years yeah, you know? Yeah. And I have a good experience with the Mexican, a lot. Yes. Yeah. And... and uh, Sometimes, uh, um, you know, there there is a like a, a um, boundary, you know, because we uh, have we have a mean. border here. Yes, yes. Just to to think that that we are not in this side of I of know. the land. Yeah, <laughs> because I it's know. the same <laughs> land. Yeah, Sorry. I know what you mean. I okay. know what you mean. <laughs> uh, uh, that that we do the things in in, in a certain way and different than than uh, the U.S. Right. or Canada or, or any other place. So I found so many, so many, you know, doctor practicing dentistry, especially in four arches and in, in yeah. dental implant here in Mexico. And, and, and I love it. And I, and I always, you know, thanks. I always say thanks for the Mexican yeah. and for, for, for the country because I yeah. come from, a, you know, a different country. Yeah, you do, man. And, and, and with a hard situation. Yeah. And they receive me all the time with yeah. a... You open know, arms open arms and everything i love that man and i always be thankful for i love for that the Mexican. And what you just mentioned about I, i guess in a way the quality of our implant dentistry or of our dentistry just like anywhere in the world and i've seen it myself there's good and bad you have to make sure you go to the good you know this goes for patients and for dentists as well like i've seen good work really good work from mexico work that i'm like wow and i've seen really bad work In the States, I've seen really good work and yeah, I've seen really, really bad work. Me too. And I'm sure you've, all, you've been all over the world. I'm sure you can say the same. All the time. Yeah. We're on It the happens. same page. Right. Excellent, man. Appreciate yeah, you, man. man. Appreciate you. It was great having you here. Guys, this is Dr. Nestor again. This is Dr. De Aguiar. Pleasure. We'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.